Hello and welcome to another Ask Cheeky. I'm Isaiah Henkel with Cheeky Scientist. This week's question comes from Angela Ritonini. Why do you say that being a or doing a postdoc damages your career? You're right, I have said that a lot. Uh, my PI says you're wrong. He say that it's necessary training for any job. Uh, what do you say? Uh, great question, Angela, and I appreciate you bringing this up. Now, the idea that doing a postdoc damages your career fires a lot of people up, especially people who are in a postdoc or who have done one. So if you've done a postdoc, rest assured you can leverage the technical skills and transferable skills you've gained to your advantage. Here's the key here. There's a lot of data to back up the fact that people who do a postdoc very rarely, if ever, catch up to those who do not. There was a large scale study done by Nature, and we'll put the reference here with this video uh, in, in the comment section, that showed that people who did a postdoc never caught up to those who did not do a postdoc even after 15 years. And they didn't catch up in terms of salary trajectory or career trajectory, no matter what field they went into. If they went into industry, government, nonprofit, other academic positions, people who did a postdoc were worse off. They didn't catch up. So that's what we mean when we say that a postdoc damages your career. Now, a postdoc was never meant to be a long-term position. In fact, 50 years ago, you would never, you would even have to do a postdoc to get into a professorship. Then PhDs started to pile up in academia because the number of PhDs being granted rose higher and higher. The number of full-time professorships dipped further and further. You used to have a 70% plus chance of getting tenure. Now it's less than 20%. And of all the professorships that are out there, less than 20% are full-time. They're being replaced by adjunct, part-time, and contract professorships. So what does this have to do with doing a postdoc? As PhDs have piled up in academia and they haven't been able to get into professorships, they've stayed in postdocs longer and longer, very often doing multiple postdocs. What went from being a one-year training position, getting that extra postdoctoral training, is now an, it tur has turned into an average of six to 10 years six to 10 years, usually over the course of two or three different postdocs. Most postdocs going into their first postdoc or most PhDs going into their first postdoc, they're not told this, they don't know. They don't realize that they're stepping into career purgatory, even a career dead end. You must know this. The academic system, the PI you work for, it's not their job and to take care of you, to take care of your career. They're not going to, the data shows this. You will never catch up to someone who has not done a postdoc. Okay, so the longer you stay in a postdoc, the worse off your career is. If you have done multiple postdocs, if you're doing them, if you continue to do them, just know that you're damaging your career. The data is clear. This is not obscure data. This is data by nature. Uh, there's similar data by science. The biggest journals available, uh, the most credible resources have shown this over and over again. The system is broken. And academia knows the system is broken. How do, they, how do we know that they know? Because they hide people who do a postdoc now. They change their job titles to research associate or something similar without giving them a pay raise or changing anything. They're still a postdoc. They just change their titles to hide the fact that they've been in a postdoc for six or more years. You've probably seen this yourself. Or they put those postdocs into adjunct professorships, contract part-time, which is essentially a postdoc position. Paid less than you are worth. Uh, working more than you should have to, especially for that amount of pay. So the overall message here is, is, is once you decide that you want to go into industry or once you realize and you see the data that you will not get into a professorship, the time is now to transition. The time is now to take your career into your own hands. Don't evade reality. Don't ignore the data, okay? The data will lead you to the truth, which is that PhDs are transitioning into industry at an accelerated rate and a postdoc is not going to help you uh, transition. Uh, the only thing that's going to help you is taking your transferable skills, your technical skills, communicating them clearly on a resume, on your LinkedIn profile, uh, building up an industry network, setting up informational interviews, getting access to the right information, the right network so that you can transition, get paid what you're worth to do meaningful work. So hopefully this inspires you instead of making you feel like you made a mistake. If you have a PhD, you're highly valuable. It's just time for you to take your career into your own hands. As always, remember your value as a PhD and start thinking and acting like a successful industry professional.